Hi, this is Dwayne. Um, just wanted to do a quick video on the new D digital APRS information ability of the D868 radio with firmware 2.32. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to open up uh, a channel. It, okay, we have a channel and I selected dupe for duplex 3100. Now this is the channel that when you put the radio on this channel it's going to turn APRS sending on in the DMR mode. We'll click on the channel. You don't have to change anything over in the channel and the contact information. Basically it has the frequencies and the color code and the slot that you're using for your particular connector whether it be a repeater, a duplex uh, hotspot or a and a simplex hotspot. The important sections are right down here. This, if you turn APRS report to on, that's going to uh, make APRS start as soon as you select this channel and do a PTT to get the channel up into your repeater or into your hotspot. This APRS report channel refers to one of the eight report channels and the setup screen for digital ARS information, APRS information. Okay, I have set this to one, uh, and I'll show you why I did that in just a second. Okay, so those two settings are done. We'll click OK. I'm now going to open up the digital screen. Okay, here is where you would put manual transmission t uh, intervals. I don't even know what that means, to be quite honest with you, uh, because basically in the DMR side, that, I, that I've seen since I've gotten this firmware, it's basically auto transmit intervals. So auto, tra I, I set this to 30 just as some type of a default. I set the APRS auto to 60 seconds and because I'm using a hotspot, I use a low transmit power. Now, this is another issue that needs to be corrected with any tone on wording. Fixed GPS beacon, there's no such thing. It's either a fixed beacon or it's on GPS. That's the two ways that this radio is going to work. In this particular case, what they mean by this is if you set this to use, it's going to use these settings here, which you enter for your location, and it basically will beacon out whatever you tell it as far as an interval goes. If you change this to beacon not used, now it will find the coordinates of the GPS if the GPS is logged on and it's logged to a GPS lock. That way it, you're not using a fixed beacon. The APRS DMR is going to send out the information from your GPS where your GPS location is, is saying. Uh, for my purposes in testing, I use the beacon a lot because a lot of times I can't get a GPS lock inside my house when I'm testing. And it's just uh, something I like to do to actually run the APRS for a while and see how it's coming out. Okay, these are your eight report channels. As you can see, just like I did on the Deep UP Dupe 3100 channel, I selected one and I selected the Dupe 3100 channel. This now ties this APRS information screen to the 3100 channel. Okay, so basically what happens is when you move your channel selector to dupe 3100, the radio in that channel it says turn APS on and use report channel number one. And that's basically what I'm doing here by setting that same channel. This means that when you're on dupe 3100, it, when you, it will turn on the GPS when you're on that cha or channel or the APRS when you're on that channel and then it will also let you monitor 3100 and every 60 seconds it's going to send out a DMR uh, APRS beacon. Now that the settings in Duke 31 channel that it uses are basically the frequencies or frequency depending on whether you have a simplex, duplex or you're going into a local repeater it will use those frequencies at that report channel and then here is the talk group that the APRS signal will send to. In the United States it's 310-999 for Brandmeister. The call will be a private call 
it's very similar to an SMS text message. It's sending data. It's telling it it's uh, basically a private call. It won't go out as a group call. Now, the channel slot, you can select one or two, or you could just leave it as channel slot, and it will match what's on your duplex 3100 or whatever channel you've selected for report channel. Okay? Hopefully, that's a little bit clear. Uh, one quick other thing I want to point out. The DDD MMMM is a little bit uh, confusing. Basically, it's degrees, and then it's minutes, and basically seconds. Uh, this 07 is minutes, the point twenty six is seven seconds. Um, uh, it's not decimal. It, it's actually not a, a point two six of a second. It's actually the number of seconds if you look up on a latitude longitude finder and it would be in uh, DDMMSS format. I'm going to talk to Anytone and see if we need to change that. Uh, I pretty much use APRS a lot, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, that's it. That's the settings that you do. Uh, and basically at this point, you're, you're done. You check it out. You write to your radio. Okay, now the radio doesn't have enough memory in it to have an APRS selection screens inside the radio. So basically, the only way you can turn the APRS on and off is to go to the channel that you've set up and you've told it, on. when I go to this channel, I want to start reporting APRS location data and I want to use the report channel 1 and I set re report channel 1 to this same channel because if you don't, it would go out on possibly another channel with different frequencies, I'm not sure, but the one thing is you wouldn't be able to monitor. Now you can set up up to eight channels. So you could have 3100, 3142, TAC 310. You could have all your favorite channels set up for APRS. And when you switch those channels, as long as you've set each channel to on and set its own report channel number, you can have up to eight. Okay. Uh, now to make that clear, let's just do it one time. This is going to be kind of a long video, but let's just say I like to listen to Pennsylvania. Okay, 3142. I turn it on. Now I'm already using report channel 1, so now I'm going to select report channel 2. All right, that's it. We're done. Now when I go on my duplex connector on 3142, it's also going to send APRS data but it's going to use the report channel 2. So let's go set that report channel 2. You bring this up here, report channel 2, and I'll find it up here on duplex. You guys are seeing all my channels, way too many of them, okay? There's Joe, I have him as a personal when we were testing uh, 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 um, uh, SMS text. Okay, so there's duplex 42. So now I have two channels that are set up to activate APRS. If I'm on dupe 31 or duplex 3100, it's going to send APRS out, but I can monitor 3100. If I decide I want to have APRS still, but I want to switch over to another channel, I set up a second channel, duplex 3142, and now that is actually set up in the APRS as report channel 2. You switch to dupe 3142, it will also send APRS data and let you monitor. If you set it to any other channel than these two, it turns the APRS data off. Okay, that's it for me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this out for recording.